it is very nice because you can see there is no outside holes. Metro has decided to produce his own bulletproof vest. This entrepreneur so owns a paint company that had 70 employees before the war, but now operations have stopped, so he has decided to use his resources to help fight the Russians. So many people uh, came uh, to self-defense units and uh, all of them coming just uh, probably with a uh, gun, but without, uh, without uh, bullet-proof vest, uh, without uh, medicine, without anything. So we try to equip them to win. After sending his wife and two children abroad, Metro turned his warehouses into a logistical hub to send equipment to both front lines and refugee shelters. Today, he receives boxes of medicine. Volunteers sort them before they're dispatched. This is humanitarian aid for anyone who needs it. For Kiev, for territorial defense, for local residents, for the army or the hospitals. Okay. Uh, we go now uh, for one place uh, where is a friend of us uh, open. Um, uh, it not, normally it was school, but now it's a place for refugees. Anna volunteers at the center while her husband, a soldier, fights on the front line. His unit has just been hit by the Russians. He called me late last night and told me that only four of them were still alive. I want the air raid sirens to stop. I want children to go to school. I want all of this to stop. Most of the displaced who come to this shelter are from Erpin or Bucha, two cities destroyed by the war in the northwestern outskirts of Kiev. There were gunshots all the time. Thanks to God, our car wasn't hit when we got out, but we could hear shells over our heads the whole way. More displaced people are on their way tonight. Valentina is cooking them dinner. Her disabled son was in Hostomel when the Russians took the city and its airport. She doesn't know if he survived the attack. Someone told me that his car is still there. I rely only on God. Since the 4th of March, I never had a conversation with my son. The people of Kiev are showing tremendous resilience and solidarity in the face of war. Initiatives like these are multiplying across the city as the Russians close in.